Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're going to be showing you how to take your visuals up a notch with video overlays. And hey, if you're not familiar with us, we're all about helping you, the video creator, with templates, footage, tutorials, plugins, audio, and more. In fact, we have tons of free video templates and assets ready to download. I've put a link in the description down below, so make sure to head on over and grab some free stuff. So first of all, let's quickly talk about what video overlays are to begin with. When we talk about video overlays, we're literally talking about a piece of footage that you lay over top of another piece of footage. This can take on a variety of different forms, but when we're talking about overlays, we're mostly talking about something that you use to enhance already pre-existing footage. Now, technically, if you took another piece of footage and just made it smaller and placed it within the same frame as another full-sized video, that would technically be an overlay, but really, we're assuming if you wanted to do that, you're gonna be using the terminology picture-in-picture -picture effect. And hey, if you wanted to take a look at how to do a picture-in-picture -picture effect in Premiere Pro, we've got a video all about that. Feel free to check it out. But what we're really talking about with video overlays is taking a second piece of footage and laying it over top and playing both pieces of footage simultaneously at full size by blending them together so both can be seen at once. And one really great example is actually light leaks. This piece of footage of light bouncing around the frame could technically just stand on its own. But if you use a blending mode, something like a screen or an overlay, you can actually tell the darker parts of this image to be transparent. This basically allows you to isolate just the dancing light within the footage and then use it over top of your pre-existing footage to enhance your overall look. That's just one example. There's a ton of other types of overlays that you could use, like dust elements, VHS effects, film grain, bokeh, glitches, shapes, etc. There's really no limit to the kinds of things that you can use as a video overlay, but they all share that basic premise of being placed over top of your base footage and blended together so that both can be seen at the same time. So with that, it's quickly important to note that LUTs and color presets don't technically count as overlays. So why would you actually want to use video overlays at all? Well, I hope it's pretty obvious that they really make your footage look pretty cool. But if that aesthetic reason alone isn't enough for you, they can really help you to more effectively tell your story and convey your message. If you have somebody who's in an environment where you want it to be clear that it's dusty, adding some extra dust overlays can help to sell this idea even more clearly than just what you were able to capture exclusively on set. Or how about if you're wanting to make your footage feel a lot more dreamy and heavenly? Your footage does a great job of this on its own, but by adding some extra light leaks, you can really help to sell that feeling and make it absolutely clear. The bottom line is that it's a really powerful tool to have in your back pocket. So let me quickly go over how to use overlays on a practical level. We're gonna be working inside Premiere Pro, but really any standard video editing program will be able to do something like this. So you'll notice that a lot of these effects have a black background, whether they're light leaks, glitch effects, etc. This is because a really simple method to making black or darkest elements transparent is by adding a blend mode called screen, like we mentioned before. Highlight your piece of footage and then in Premiere Pro, underneath effect controls and then the opacity section, you can choose a blend mode called screen. This will tell those dark sections to be transparent, meaning that your elements are actually being projected as desired onto your footage underneath. But depending on the specific elements in question that you're using, you might not get exactly the result you want with screen. For example, we have a film grain overlay here that we want to add to our footage. But selecting screen doesn't quite get us the effect that we want. So instead, we need to set it to overlay instead. The reality is, the vast amount of use cases will be covered by either screen or overlay. But if you're not quite getting the effect that you're looking for, we'd highly encourage you to just look through all of the blend modes and try them out to see what you get. Who knows, you might be pleasantly surprised by what you end up with. And if you're just looking for some video overlays to be able to download and use for yourself, we've got countless options on our marketplace and even some in our free section. And we also have a download pack that you can share on Facebook in order to get access to with a bunch of overlays as well as a bunch of other great stuff that I really like personally. I've linked to it in the description down below, so feel free to check it out. But guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video.